my favorite way of shopping is when I walk into a store and I find something that I want, that I need, that I love, that is 50% off. That's my favorite thing. And you know, to find that Bermuda quadrangle of shopping perfection is hard to find. But today I just went shopping. Now I've not been shopping for clothes for like a really, really long time. Because what's the point? I never find anything that fits. Nothing is ever my size that I like. I can fit in stuff at Pottery Barn though. I mean, those couches are made for sprawling. I can fit into those just fine. Clothes on the other side of the mall, not so much. But you know, now I'm down 40 pounds. So I thought, yeah, let's just give it a shot. I can fit into my skinny clothes a little bit better. Maybe, maybe there's something for me. Not quite. I am happy to say that I kind of fit into XL size clothes, but with clothes, you know, almost fitting in is just never looks the way you think it's going to look. It just makes beautiful clothes look not beautiful anymore. And I've already done that. But I went in shopping for clothes today and I went to like expensive places because I haven't shopped. You know, when I shop for clothes, I go to places that sell pants with elastic waist because you know, that's all I'm good for, which is not really true. What's really true is that that's all I'm willing to pay for. So that's on me. But I couldn't help notice today that the clothes that are in the plus size section of the store are uglier than the clothes that are not in the plus size section of the store. <sighs> what? Why is that? Why do stores need think we need sequins? Why do they think we need ruffles? Giant flower patterns? Ugh. No, I want simple, clean line clothes. And I know they're out there in Amazon land, but I was in a department store and I wanted to buy something. I had money burning a hole in my pocket and I walked out of that store with nothing because there was nothing in there that would fit me. Actually, there was one thing, but it was $250. As much as I liked it, I didn't like it that much. But at least I was happy to see there was something beautiful there that I liked that could actually be fit. So I don't know, maybe when 75% off happens, I'll go back and look. But I couldn't fit into most of the things in those stores. And. I'm not too upset about it. This was kind of an exploratory trip. I just wanted to see if anything would fit me, like, at all. I feel like the department stores that I went into are specifically made for people who are thin and beautiful and rich. And I can maybe flirt with two of those. I'm not telling you which ones either. But the fact remains that it didn't work. They don't fit me. And everything that I hate about shopping is still kind of there. There's a bunch of other stores out there, and I will try to go to those. And you know what, I know there's this whole world I've never indulged in called tailoring, and so maybe I'll try that at some point. But today, today I just wanted to dip my toe into the department store and came away with a damp toe and that's about it. But I mean, I hate shopping anyway. I've never liked shopping. I have to be emotionally prepared to go shopping for anything, whether it be food or clothes or shoes. Like halfway through, I sort of ran out of my shopping mojo and I just had to get out of there. So now I'm gonna go home. This shopping trip was like a C minus, but I wasn't really expecting it to be anything else. Do I feel bad about myself? No, I just, you know, watching reality pass by again. Yeah, it's okay, fine. Basically, there's still not a place where I can go and find clothes. There's other stores out there. I only had the emotional bandwidth today to go to three. I mean, I'm still only halfway through on my journey. There's still hope, but I am shopped out and it's time to go home and just recover from my day of C minus clothes shopping.